The topic of this video is solving absolute value inequalities. To solve inequalities involving absolute value, replace the expression in the absolute value bars with star, then get the absolute value of star alone on one side of the inequality. Next, determine the value or values you can replace star with to make the statement true and graph them on a number line. Next, use your number line to write one or more inequalities involving star. Finally, put star back the way it was and solve each inequality. Let's look at some examples. Solve for h. The absolute value of the sum h plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. All right, the first step is to replace the h plus 1 with star. The next step is to isolate the absolute value of star, but the good news is it's already isolated. There is nothing on the left side of the inequality outside of the absolute value bars. Think of this like the statement, distance from zero is less than or equal to seven. That's like a dog on a seven foot leash. So the shading on the number line would be from negative seven to seven with brackets at either end because the inequality symbol says less than or equal to. Now, using that number line, write an inequality involving star. It's a between type inequality. So we put the star in between negative seven and seven, and we put the less than less than symbol in this case, less than or equal to because of the inequality in this problem, in between. Now, put star back the way it was. It used to be h plus 1. So now we have negative 7 is less than or equal to h plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. And then finally, solve for h. Subtract 1 in all three areas. So we get negative 8 is less than or equal to h is less than or equal to 6. Let's look at our next example. Negative 18 is greater than negative 2 times the absolute value of the sum 3x plus 1. First, replace 3x plus 1 with star. Next, isolate the absolute value of star by dividing both sides by negative 2. Negative 18 divided by negative 2 is positive 9. And since we divided by a negative, we swap the direction of our inequality symbol. So now what we have is 9 is less than the absolute value of star. Flipping sides, we would say the absolute value of star is greater than 9. G greater is like a guard. So 0 is guarded, and you can't get within 9. So you can be 9 or to the right. You can be negative 9 or to the left. For each of those, we write an inequality. For this one, we write star greater than 9, because we're to the right of 9. Greater than. For this one, we write star less than negative 9, because we are left of negative 9. Now put star back the way it was. Star used to be 3x plus 1. So in each place of each of these stars, write 3x plus 1. So we get 3x plus 1 is greater than 9, or 3x plus 1 is less than negative 9. In each of those inequality statements, subtract 1 on both sides. So then you would have 3x is greater than 8, or 3x is less than negative 10. Then, in both of them, divide by 3 on both sides. So we get x is greater than 8 thirds, or x is less than negative 10 thirds.